what is going on guys welcome back to my channel mr tech roxy and in this video i'll be showing you guys a tutorial for beginner on this game called neo warfare x so if you don't know this game yet let me give you a quick summary so this game is basically a very super realistic military games inside roblox um not shooting i mean it is shooting but military vehicle it have like tanks anti-air ships battleship submarine transport fighter bomber airliner a lot of thing over 300 aircraft is included in this game and it ranges from the legendary p-51 mustang all the way to f-35 and se boeing 747 for airliners so without wasting any more time let's jump straight into the video Okay guys, so the first thing that you'll see when you hop into the game is you'll be greeted by this lobby server screen. So in this screen you can see um, the map, your the list of your friend, you can I think you can invite them to play with you. But in this video we'll be focusing on this uh, server tab. So as you can see here it have a lot of server in it. Each server have uh, number of player that's in it over 30 so the max uh, amount of player that a server can hold is 30 players so I'll just uh, and this is the server codes with the amount of hours that the server has been running so I'll just hop into the server with 29 people hopefully we can get a big dog fight just click join okay, okay. There we go, uh, we can finally get into the server now. So once it's like, once you go into a server, you'll see this screen, it says loading assets. Uh, don't worry, it might look stuck, but this, this screen might take you around one or two minutes to fully load the game because as I mentioned earlier, 300 aircraft is not a easy thing to load. Okay guys, so once your game has loaded, after those grueling one or two minutes depending on your computer uh, you will be greeted with this screen that's that have a lot of things but don't worry I'll, I'll show you everything okay so you got here uh, this is a chat box so you can just chat with people and this is the menu so there's ADC this is air traffic controller so you're basically a person who is telling people like okay you runway one is clear uh, good for takeoff or runway two is good for landing something like that uh, credit is just the list of people who help make this game possible free flight is the thing that we want to focus on now help is like the control but i'll just show you guys uh in this video mission uh when i start out from my experience i don't do mission it is not that bad but it is also not that good the mission so the developer can make this mission like a bit better setting is just you know your graphics now okay now you want to click on free flight so after you click on free flight the next thing you want to do is choose a vehicle you want to play as so you see here it have infantry ships aircraft and ground in this video I'll be focusing on aircraft specifically a uh, fighter so click on aircraft and you got this whole line of everything you can play as so you got airliner you know 747 737 everything here just click on this so we'll focusing on fighter click on fighter and for the sake of this video i'll be choosing france because it have the Dassault rafale or rafale i don't know how to pronounce that but this plane is a very noob friendly plane and it it can help you learn a lot of things in this game so uh, just remember click aircraft fighter pick a country you want to choose as pick France and I'll choose this plane click on that and you'll see this screen and then you will be greeted with this screen that have uh, your aircraft model and all of these yellow things so first of all don't get freaked out by this thing so you wanna uh, so this yellow thing basically means 
the weapon loadout that you can put so uh, as you can see here we have nothing on this now so if you want a like a rocket or a bomb just click on it then you can select each uh, weapon so you, as you can see here we have three types of missile so I'll just go with this one meteor meteor you you can just click on them and select this you have a lot of things but it's up to you what what you like so for me I'll just pick an external fuel tank so this will fuel your plane for longer okay now for this I'll just put another meteor and a bomb this one I'll put a meteor 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 a lot of meteor like that another bomb meteor external fuel tank meteor and meteor so yeah now your plane is fully loaded and you're ready for battle once you fully loaded your plane you have an option to customize your plane like that click on that one and you can see here color you can change the color of your plane into whatever color you like red white or whatever you want I'm I'm gonna just keep it a little bit this color oh wait never mind I'll put it gray and material and everything in insignia so after that you might ask yourself how do I spawn into the game so well glad you asked easy so you click deployment and from here it's night time so you cannot see anything so you wanna land on one of these things civilian airbase or carrier I recommend you going to civilian then scroll down to WOW International Airport VAU because that is where everyone goes if you don't want to get isolated from other people just go to WOW International Airport then you set spawn just click on this and then you see, see your uh, red thing here just click on that because that is where your plane will spawn once you put that just click deploy okay once you're in the game um, uh, so this is currently the night time so you cannot see anything but if you wanna turn on the lights you can click the minus button uh, un underscore button just right of the number zero click on that you will turn on your light you start to see your aircraft and then you if it's night and it's not bright enough you can click tap and then toggle night vision turn it on so you'll see your night vision here so in order to start your plane you need to start your engine obviously so click E to start your engine some plane have this back part where you can see your engine starts spinning that is where you know that your engine is starting to work and you can also hear the sound okay so let me just uh, explain you about the XUD of this game real quick so this here is the throttle and we are currently at 0% um, this here is your speed it is measured in knots this is your map if you click on this you can open it so this is your current location you can just hover over the dark spot and it it tells you like harbor pearl harbor wow international airport wow city just close it click on that this will be your fuel your fuel tank and this will be your health so when someone shot you shoot you this will go down this is your like direction if you turn right you'll go starboard if you turn left you go port side this I think it only apply for ship but somehow uh, this also works this is the chat box you can chat this is your loadout I'll explain that more uh, later and this is your al altimeter okay so to start off your plane you need your engine to be working okay so you need to once your engine is working you need to pull up your throttle so you hold W like that W and you see this going up your, your plane starts going forward like that you can control the movement of your plane by holding your left click just hold that then once it's good enough you see this here um, above this red thing means that you can fly and above this you're not stalling you're good okay once 
it's good enough for you to go up just hold gently hold your left click and pull your plane up just like that and now your plane is on air and you're good to go now once you're on the air I can show you some basic maneuvers so you can simply just you know uh, do hold like uh, left click to move but if you wanna like pitch up you hold J J you pitch upward then if you wanna pitch downward just hold U or or if you're pitching up you wanna level your plane click on the equal button I mean hold on it then your plane will be level up so after that um, you can use H and K to roll your plane so H to the left and then K to your right and when you're rolling you just need to hold your left click in order to level your plane back so after that if you want a smoke to come out of your wing it's not a damaging smoke it's just a smoke you know like for good looking just click L See, there will be a little smoke coming out of your plane, but don't worry, this is not a smoke that come out of your engine. You can see the big smoke here, that means like you broke the sound barrier, you're faster than the sound. One more thing I want to show you guys is um, how to open your afterburner. So if you don't know what the hell is afterburner, it's simply just the flame that's coming out of your plane. Click semicolon. So you, your, your plane will go way faster. Just turn it off because it will consume a lot of fuel. Just like that. Okay, now uh, how to shoot your enemy. So you cannot just go out and shoot your enemy yet. So you need to select the target that you want to shoot. Let's say I want to kill this guy. So I click on him and click select as target. Now he's red. And let's say I lost sight of him and I want to... And I don't know where he is, so I just click Z or hold Z, to, and that is my target. So you cannot shoot yet because you you don't have your combat mode enabled. To enable your combat mode, just simply click zero because that will allow you to shoot your enemy. So click zero, and it says here enabling combat mode in ten nine something like that. So in order to see if your enemy have a combat mode on or not. You see here the little X near him, that means he have a combat mode on. But if he don't have a, the X near him, that means you, you wouldn't do any damage even though if you shoot him. Because he's not yet having that combat mode on. So, in order to kill people, and remember we have a uh, combat mode on. So, this will be your loadout, this little screen here. So, you wanna... You want to select only one of them. So this is the missile that I want to choose. So deselect two of them and only select one of them. Because you only want to shoot one at a time. So once you select that. You start putting afterburner. Or you don't need to put afterburner and head toward your enemy. Once he's good in range. Like that. Click the keybind and you fire your missile. He's not dead yet. So, I can just turn off my afterburner, and there he is. Or I can log on to another target if I want. So let's say he's 1.5 km from here, I'll just click X, X, my missile will go toward him, X, and X. And there, we just successfully shot that guy down with our missile. So we still have three missile left and I think we can kill another guy so let's say who we wanna kill okay this guy uh, have his target I mean his combat mode on so let's select this guy as target and then let's fire it on him yes we just shot that guy down so to drop bomb you wanna you can either drop your external fuel tank or your bomb so let's just select on the bomb and you don't know where your bomb gonna be so you wanna click on s number six that'll be your bomb site so example I wanna drop there so I just click B B B B all my bomb is gone and I can change the view I press I hold on to four that will be my uh, bomb site so 
once my bomb hit boom boom now there it is so yeah that's that's very basic maneuver control for you guys to understand oh and you can also change the camera so you can click one for the normal camera two for this camera three is a very good one but you cannot uh, select people as target because oh you can then uh, four for the same as two five is first person but it depends on the plane some plane have uh, cockpit design and some doesn't so yeah some plane you can actually see the cockpit like the f-22 raptor six for bomb site seven for special site eight special nine and just go back to one because this will be the most used one so in order to land your plane first of all you must have to turn off your combat mode because you don't want enemy just shooting at your plane while you're on the ground so click zero disable your combat mode and then you can start heading for an airstrip or a aircraft carrier but we have no aircraft carrier here so we just gonna land on our old airstrip so just like that and once you're heading for the runway pull back your throttle a lot because you don't want to land at high speed once you're close enough to the runway um, click the uh, G to uh, put your landing gear on let me just okay like that pull your throttle way back like that and then you want to aim for your runway you can use this camera if it helps but I'm gonna use the normal one okay we're near the runway we're really close to the runway oh we're landing just don't go too steep or else you'll crash your plane just like that good we're doing very good yeah it touched the ground and then you hold shift to enable your brake you don't want your plane to just go off the runway if you don't put your brake on so once you hold shift your plane will go down to a lot slower and then to rearm or refuel you want to turn off your engine so click E like that just hold E and then your engine is turned off and then once your engine is a like actually turned off you have this button rearm repair or refuel click on that and one more thing I want to show you guys is um, how to turn off all these things so you can just go here GUI click that it doesn't work but if you click on alt so the key alt in your keyboard click on that everything is disappeared but if you click on alt again everything appear and now once you rearm or refuel you have all your load back so yeah that that's all about this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and actually learn how to play this game because this game might seem very hard to new player but trust me um it's not that hard if if you you know you watch this video and you know how to play it yeah so there's not that much control to this game as you might think this is not like dcs world or anything this is like just a roblox simulator game that have a lot of potential in the future and if you guys really like this video just click on that like button and hit the subscribe button for more video and thank you guys so much for 250 subscriber i never think of that before so yeah, goodbye guys, as always, thank you and peace.